Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football, back here at the DFW Coaches Clinic, here with the head coach of the 4A Division I state champion, Annie, Anna Coyotes, Coach Seth Parr. Uh, coach, first off, congrats on being a state champion, and appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for what you do for high school football. I know you hear that all the time, but getting everybody out there and making everybody interested and keeping everybody engaged, it's great for our game, and uh, we appreciate what you do. All right, Coach, first we're going to look, look back at uh, last year, obviously a special, special year in, in Anna, Texas, first ever state championship. Um, you guys, unbelievable. I was a little worried because the, the first game I went to, you guys lost in like seven overtimes against Salina. I thought it might be bad luck for you guys, but you guys got it done against a really good Chapel Hill team. And, and looking back, just how special was this group of seniors in this 2023 season to you and the community? Well, it's just something that's been building for three years. I really thought we had a – a great chance to win this and sometimes you get this group and you're like you don't get very many of them so I've known over my last couple of times getting the four rounds in is that we had to do something and this group was very special and and uh, we kind of changed our practices a little bit in the uh, playoffs and they overcame a lot of things and and uh, really really a great group of kids and ended up uh, you know pulling it out. All right, now, for those who don't know your background, you are Plain, Plainview alum, and, and I know I heard, I heard some stories about you slinging it around back at Plainview in the day. You, you were an offensive guy uh, by, by trade, but really it was your defense, I thought, that in the, in the playoff run especially, they just took it to another level. How, how, you know, for you as an offensive guy watching your defense play, it's got to be, it had to be really nice feeling to know that your defense is going to go out there, get stops, and give the ball back to your offense time and time again. They were, they were really – really, in my opinion, really were the star of the show at the end of the season. They, they were an amazing group. Yeah. Well, being an offensive guy and being the head coach, you learn that, uh, you know, when I was at Caprock, we had to score every series. So when you have a great defense, take some pressure off the offense. So we had to learn how to play a little bit different this year because our defense was really so good is that we learned how to take the air out of the ball. And we don't really care how much we score. We just want to win and be really efficient. Our defense, uh, we take it personal when people in the air raid, that people say that you can't play defense in the air raid offense. I don't know why. I mean, I think that's a lot of excuse for a lot of defensive guys that uh, don't stop anybody. So we take that personal. And guess what? They can go three and out just like we can go three and out. So uh, I was really proud of our guys. They, they're very physical. Coach Ramos is an unbelievable coach. And all my defensive staff did really uh, a great job of preparing. And, uh, you know, that was they were the star of the show. And we, we really, um, you know, kind of fed off of them. And, but they're all gone. So uh, now, yeah. now, now it's depressing. Yeah. So, uh, but it was fun. Yeah. And, and you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm a football analyst. I'm not a smart football analyst, but I feel like if you give up zero points, you're going to win a whole lot of football games, right? It was a great one. All you had to do is score two. Yeah. That's why I tell my defense coordinator all the time, we can win 2-0. You'll take it, right? That's right. All right, now, Coach, let's, let's first let, let's look at this clinic a little bit. You know, we talk about it a lot. It's, we call it mini coaching school because there's so many great speakers, so many great coaches here. For you coming to this clinic, you know, it's it's got to be a nice nice event to be right down the road for you to come in here and just listen to some great speakers and, and talk a little ball with a lot of great coaches. Well, I didn't know what I missed when I was in Lubbock. You know, I'd come every once in a while, but it's hard to get it here from Lubbock and Amarillo. Being Anna. I can get to my house from here, and it's the best clinic that I think they put on uh, for coaches and high school coaches. Uh, you see a lot of people here. I'm about to you know, go talk to some coaches, interview them for jobs for next year, and uh, it's just a great place to meet people and a great place to hear some great lectures. All right, Coach, now let's look ahead to 2024 a little bit. First off, before we get to realignment, let's talk about the offseason a little bit. You know, you obviously, I know a lot of people are going to talk about your quarterback coming back, Zyandre Williams, great sophomore quarterback. Chumley's back, you're running back, you'll have some playmakers out wide, good group up front. So you, offensively, I think you guys are going to be stout. You mentioned you lose a lot of great guys on defense. So other than getting stronger, bigger, faster in the offseason, when you get into skill-specific football stuff, is that what kind of the focus is going to be, is trying to find some of those guys to replace that great senior group on defense? You know, we got to find – that's that's exactly the focus. We're going in on Monday and we start drills and uh, we're making sure – we're trying to find out where do we put people. Um, it is offensively, we're going to be good. We're like a 5A type of offense on defense right now. We are not. So, uh, and But we do have some guys that played there 
they've grown up in it. We just got to get them in the right spot and then see what they can do, you know, and uh, give them a chance. And you and I guess it does help. You had six six extra weeks of practice, so you bring you know you bring up your JV kids to practice. Like that, that kind of helps them get started and get acclimated as you imp implement those young guys into the varsity program, right? You know, the more times you can do stuff, the better. But at, really, at the, everybody says that. But at the end of the season, you cut way down because everybody's tired of practicing. Yeah. But and beat up, you know, bumps and up. bruises, right? But I think them being around it and being around those guys and being around film room and, and study, that's what really helps, you know, helps the younger guys. All right, final question before we get you out of here, Coach. Uh, UIL realignment's coming up Thursday. It's always big across the state of Texas. It's it's something we love. Every two years it happens. For Anna, especially this year, it's different because you guys are making that leap from Class 4A to Class 5A. Um, I know it's going to be tough, and, and really in 5A Division II in that part of the area, a lot of good football teams there. How do you approach realignment? Because you guys can go a number of different directions, so you kind of have to kind of wait and see how the district's going to shake out, right? Yeah, you know, we're treating realignment like we're moving cities. Uh, I like it's a new job because that's what it's going to be for us is because, you know, now everybody's going to be a little bit bigger and a little bit faster. If we had last year's team, I would, I would have played anybody with that team, but now we're moving on and we got to find out how to win at this level. Um, you know, so it's a new experience. I don't know which directions because I'm not real good at that. Uh, UI does a good job keeping those secrets, right? They do a great job. And not being from the area, you know, I, it makes sense for us to go with, down 75 you know but then I hear all these other scenarios and you know what you do with Argyle, Grapevine, Frisco you know I just found out where Colony was driving down here I mean I was pretty amazed that it's pretty close to Anna to me you know a lot of stuff in the Colony too yeah and so you know everybody thinks travel you know going from Lubbock or Amarillo you know three hours wasn't long for us we thought that was pretty short here 45 minutes seems a long time everybody's freaking out right that, that's right yeah. That's right. So uh, it's different for me. I'm just going to enjoy it and then hopefully get some games and uh, and then go and start. Once you get it, you know you have to start competing. So, you know, that's all you can do. All right, Coach, we'll see you at Birdville on Thursday for UIL realignment. Uh, congrats again on the state championship. Unbelievable season for you guys. And enjoy the rest of the clinic, and we appreciate what you do for student-athletes in the state of Texas. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.